magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Sa YouTube content na ito, ating bibisitahin ang Maria Clara at Ibarra Costume on Display na matatagpuan sa ground floor ng Eastwood Mall sa Quezon City. Ating aalamin ang lahat ng mga impormasyon tungkol sa costume na ginamit sa nasabing teleserye. By the way guys, this is Arkitektong Lacuachero and welcome to my YouTube channel. Kung bago ka sa akin channel at nagugustuhan mo ang mga ganitong klaseng content, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, share, and comment, and of course para updated ka sa mga susunod kong video uploads. Keep on watching guys, maraming salamat sa suporta. By the way, don't skip! Being mostly set in the 1800s during the Spanish era of the Philippines, both of the looks worn by the characters comprise of traditional garments of that time. Ayon sa wardrobe stylist ng no naturang teleserye, he mentioned that most important aspects regarding the overall styling was that the costumes and accessories stay faithful to the novel and its setting. The costume and makeup department are tightly monitoring every detail to ensure the accuracy of the costumes and accessories. And to help them execute this vision impeccably, they had several workshops with their consultants and historians. In a period like this, it is important to do it correctly and to not revise it. Maliban sa pag-attend nila ng workshops with historian consultants, ang styling team also found reference sa iba pang maraming paraan. Pumunta rin sila sa mga museo at antique shops to see how surviving pieces from the Spanish era were constructed. Barbie Cortez's character Clay, whose modern woman put in an unfamiliar setting was made to appear like an outsider looking in. They mentioned that the costume was inspired by the 1860s since she is mostly wearing handmade me downs from Ibarra's mother. The shape of her skirts are much more of a ball shape which was the trend of that time. Her skirts are also pleated in the style of siete cuchillos or a skirt with the seven panels. Julianne's Mara Clara, she used a traditional dress that was named after her and elaborate accessories gilded in gold such a Victorian cameo choker, tambourine's necklace, and earrings that truly signify the character's illustrado woman social status. At sa costume naman ni Sisa na ginampanan ni Andrea Torres, ang naturang costume ay isang inspirasyon mula sa barot saya worn by Filipinas in the lower class. Even though it lacks the embellishments and finer details of the trade de mestiza, there is a beauty in how the Indian women of those times draped the tapis and the saya to match her lifestyle, working on the field during the day. Sa mga kasuota ng mga male character sa naturang teleserye, ang nag-design ay si Rocco Arceo. He injected the 1880s European menswear pattern and tailoring to reflect his upbringing in Europe. With Ibarra, we mostly find him in pieces of that time which include coats, jackets, and trousers that are usually paired with a bowler or top hat with 
his character also accessorize with other Western fashion items such as ascot tie, pocket watch, and a walking stick. To source for the fabrics, especially the piña, they utilize on the panuelo and camisa, they went to Lumban, Laguna. These piña panels were then hand embroidered and made into the garments. Guys, ano masasabi nyo sa mga costume na ginamit sa naturang teleserye? Leave a comment. Maraming salamat. Natapos nyo po ba ang naturang teleserye na pinalabas sa GMA7? Leave a comment. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe, like, share, comment. Till next video, paalam!